Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Jared at 3C's Recreation. Today we're going to install the Sycra Pro Bend Ultra handguards. They're the new style. They're cool. They say beta right on them. So these are parts that we can drop ship right to you. Uh, it's a new accessory. We've been wanting to shoot this video for a while. We've been so busy. So this is kind of what they look like. It's got the Pro Bend. So on the sides, it's going to drip down. And as you look over here, come around this way, Braxton, so you can see the side view. So the side's gonna let your hand kind of slide off easier. Here's what I'm used to running. I always run like a, either a moose or um, an enduro engineering. This is one of our other hand guards. So you can see on the side, this would keep it straight. So I'm used to having that bar in the end. We'll see how much it changes, um, how I hold on to the handlebars, because I kind of use that. So I enjoyed the moose ones, but with this being a new accessory, we're gonna give it a go. And so we just open the package up, all the hardware is in here. The first thing you want to do is just kind of grab the wraparound piece and fit them to the handlebar. So this is a pro tip right here I'm going to give you guys just to run double handguard. So this is the beta flag handguard that's on here. It's going to give like two mile an hour faster. So I would take the new wraparound, stick it over the top of the beta handguard. No one's going to know it's there. And you guys are going to be like five seconds faster a lap. So... <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. So first thing we need to do is we're going to remove these flag handguards. We'll get these off and out of the way. And then we got to kind of pre-fit these before we start cutting anything. So we'll get these off real quick. So the first step you want to do is kind of dry fit these to the bike. I like to start with the throttle side because there's more stuff to go wrong. I'd hate to see you get completely done with the clutch side and then realize it won't work over here. So what we have to do is take the Pro Bend uh, bar itself, set it up here. And keep in mind, these mounts that go on the inner handlebar here, they are tapered. They go from uh, smaller to bigger, and that matches the bike. So you have to make sure you have the right side, because there's one for each side. I've seen too many trade-ins where these are swapped around. So this one, you can see it goes smaller to bigger this way. So let me get these bands out of the way here. Pop these out of the way. And I'll pull the wires down. When I'm done, I like to tuck the wires up in so they're not below. But for now, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to tuck those down. You can see if the wires are down below, we can catch those. I'll sneak them up in here later. And we just want to make sure that this looks right here. That's perfect. Come on in, Braxton. Get like a top view of that so we can show the, the folks at home that there's plenty of clearance there between the brake line and our mount. Let's come over here to this RS model. If we come over here in the showroom. So this is a Street Eagle model, and what happens on these is the brake line has to be behind the Trail Tech Voyager display. So it's way back here, and you can see how close, go ahead and zoom in there, how close that brake line is to the handlebar. That is right where this mount needs to be. And so what you'll have to do is you have to bend this brake line out, but you have to be super careful not to do it too much, because otherwise it'll, um, it'll actually break the brake line and you'll leak fluid, so you have to buy a new brake line. So you gotta bend it out enough that this mount will slide in there and be happy. So be careful on the RS models. You do have to bend your brake line out to make these hand guards work. So on the wraparound bars, obviously the whole goal is for this to go in the end of the handlebar. On pretty much all bikes, first we have to cut the grip, but we have to cut the throttle tube because the throttle tube kind of wraps around the bar a little bit. So to do this, I like to pull the throttle tube away from the bike a little bit more so I can get in here and cut this neatly. So to do that, there's just on the back side, there's two eight millimeter bolts. We'll just loosen the lower one here. I'll slide the throttle tube out. So obviously this far out's plenty. We're just trying to get a blade width in here and I'll tighten it back down on the handlebar so it doesn't slip around. So now my throttle tube is out far enough and kind of, and then we'll show you guys how we cut this. So come around this way, Maxim. And we're gonna get at the end of this. The first thing I'm gonna to try to do, and I have a really nice clean razor blade, the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut the grip up. So we're gonna just kind of slice the grip. It's important to have a really good blade when you're doing this so you're not hurting the hurting the bar or anything. Let's get this grip. All I'm trying to do right now is just kind of show you guys how the grip works here. So we're getting the grip cut out of the way first. And it's kind of tricky. You gotta be really careful when you're using these. So you can see here now that I got the grip out of the way, this throttle tube would actually bottom out. Let's just show you guys at home so you don't accidentally end up with a bike wide open. Um, so if you push this all the way in, the throttle tube is bottoming out on the handlebar in there because it actually wraps around. So we need to cut this whole knuckle of the throttle tube off. That way that outside um, handguard can mount flush to the bar itself. So now I'm going to actually cut this a little bit deeper. So I'm going to pull this back off. 
Oh, I'm gonna start my bike. If you guys um, did not cut that, you'll pinch it between the handlebar and your bike will kind of be like uh, in cruise control mode. So now that I can see it better, or to show you guys, I'm gonna cut more of the grip out of the way first here. We're gonna cut more of it as we go, but I like to do baby steps on it. There's no reason to hurt your throttle tube. And so I'm kind of just kind of going into the throttle tube now. And, and once I'm past the knuckle there, I straighten out my cut. And I'm just gonna take this cut all the way around, nice and close. And I'm kind of rotating the throttle as I go. It makes it easier for me. And then it does get to a certain point where you're gonna kind of stand on your head to finish this. So let me pull this out of the way more here. And then let me get back in here. Usually there's no pressure because I don't have a camera going, but we're just kind of making a nice cut all the way around. And sometimes you have to clean up your cut a little bit. Get this to finish up nice. And what you're gonna to wanna to do now is feel on the inside that that lip is completely gone so it doesn't drag on the handlebar. You can kind of see in the bottom edge right here, I'm not sure how good this camera's gonna focus. There's a little bit of a lip still right here where I started. So I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more off in that one spot. And like I said, this, this new razor blade's kind of cheating. It's making it so nice. So now, if I loosen this and I slide it all the way in, this is the hardest part of this whole job, you guys. It's something that I've done a lot of. And so now you can see I am well past the end of the, the handlebar, and there's no hang-ups at all. It's, it's completely perfect. So I'm going to back it out just a little bit. And right about there, we can't have it flush with the end because we don't want our... our um, new handlebars to catch it, or new guards to catch it. So right about there, it's gonna be in far enough. We're not gonna catch. So I'm gonna re-tighten this down right here. So we've got our, our bracket in the end of the handlebar here. This is what's gonna pinch and hold the internals. They do give you a bigger one. So there are bigger bars in the industry. That's not the case with the betas. We'll use the smaller one that came with it. And I like to use, when we do our final assembly, I like to use never season here because after a year or two of dirt and water getting in there, it can make that harder to come apart again. So I'm gonna slide that in the end. And we're gonna need to, one more modification I like to do here at the shop is when I set this on here, and if this bracket is completely tight with the handlebar, it's kind of got a pretty good angle to it. And you can see from the top view that if this was tight, there's a pretty good angle right here. It's not completely flush. So what we like to do now is I'm gonna take this and bend it more. I'm gonna go back in the vise and give this a kink right at the end kind of where this bend already has started. And that way we have a tighter tighter bolt there. Okay, so we got this eye completely done. We made our bend in here and it fits in way better now. You can see everything lines up tight. Everything is tight on the handlebar. We got our taper right on the mount. We got our rubber straps holding our wires. And I like to run the wires over this. That way they're not below and catching a stick. So it's all tucked in nice. And we got the plastic on the front. Beta does give you these two, I guess it's a Psyker kit, but Beta as well. They give you these two cool little fill-ins. It's like today it's 19 degrees here in New York, so we could fill that in, keep our hands warmer. And then we went ahead and did the uh, clutch side as well. This side is super straightforward and simple. We just cut the grip on the end, and then up in the front, our mount was really easy. I do not run the left-hand block, the control block in my handlebar, so there's no wires to worry about. But if you guys did have wires, I would like for you guys to run them like you did on the other side above the mount. And uh, just maybe one comparison between this and the Moose or Slash Enduro Engineering, because they're the same, is the Moose and Enduro Engineering, we can kind of slide this plastic out. On the back of this, it's just on a, on a bar and you decide where you want to mount the plastic. We're on the Psychra Pro Benz. We have two bolt holes and that's exactly where that guard has to go. So. Maybe if you're at home and you want to have this plastic out further, it's kind of nice to be able to have that flexibility with, with the other style there to, to be able to slide that out. Other than that, I think they're really nice hand guards. They went on really well, a lot of pieces to them, but once you get them on, they're strong, sturdy. I think they're gonna make a really good uh, hand guard. I'm excited to have these on my new project bike. This is Jared at 3C's Recreation. If you're looking for a set, give us a call. We do discounts on all of our parts. We can drop ship them right to your doorstep. Uh, enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching.